Remember, we've been working all weekend on movement and motion. Things are all done, the technique's done with motion. So from here, if I, if I decide that I'm going to take him down, I can't just use my, the strength of my body. I need to disrupt his posture, I need to turn him, and I need to keep moving. See, I, I'm continually moving. I'm moving, I'm adjusting myself all the time. Don't stand there and use all your physical strength. This is the hardest thing to overcome in martial arts, particularly people like myself who have natural strength. Men, men usually have natural upper body strength. It's easier for women. It's easier for women to do these martial arts, I think. Because they don't have the strength, they have to rely on the skill and the principle. Where us guys are lazy, we just rely on our strength. So don't rely on your strength. Practice the technique honestly. And it'll be so easy. Then you're being even lazier because you're not using any strength. <laughs> Does that make sense? I, 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 I contribute something? Please. Uh, the only way Bunkai works effectively is if we, uh, I suppose, create the side effect of the cause. Okay, you hear something? One. Yes, but if I don't move, if I don't, if I don't pretend that he's actually hit me, then in order to do the Bunkai effectively, he actually has to hit me. So, in order to make this technique work, all of a sudden, Cass strikes me in the throat, and my posture, my posture is broken. Boom! He's hit me very hard, but he hasn't because we're friends. Okay? <laughs> then he applies pressure to my body. My, my, my structure's broken. So as he applies pressure down, my body comes down. As he turns and steps back around, my structure being broken collapses. Okay? If you stand there and don't let things happen to you, they're not going to get any, uh, what do you call it, relap, feedback, okay? Bunkai doesn't work with that feedback. Yeah, that's what Xi'an John was just saying five minutes ago, so people still not listening. Yeah, okay, so uh, well, I think Xi'an Richard calls it automatic kinetic flow. As you hit something, the thing moves. ACF. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is an important feature. Okay. 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 The next, the next technique that Oscar Sensei really loved was this technique in Kurufa, where he really incorporated this rising and lowering of the body. Um, firstly, we'll practice it uh, intercepting somebody's attack. So as he attacks me, I, I move past him. It's like two cars passing on the road. As he moves in, I move past, I attack, and I keep moving. So this is a perfect scenario, for example, if there is a multiple attackers and David attacks me. So from here, I move past, I keep walking, I can suck it all. Okay, watch. Okay, let's practice that. Okay. Attack. Another variation that Oscar Sensei really used to like was to maintain contact with the person. So as the attack comes, rather than move past him, he stayed with him. And attack. So from here, I stuck, I stick to him. I rest my leg on his knee. I use shuto. And I use consetsu get him. Okay, so from here, this is really nice to keep him very, very close. Manipulate the neck a little bit, manipulate the knee, and, 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 and you've got really good control. So practice this technique where you actually climb up them and get him in, in, into this position. So there's, there's pressure, there's Kazushi here on his sternum, and he has no stability. Okay, let's practice that very slowly with a partner. Practice on the right side, left side, do five each. <laughs> <laughs>